So let's just have a little talk about insulation. These days we try to insulate buildings to a much higher standard than we used to and in order to do that most of the time the cavity wall is filled with either rock wall, some kind of mineral wall or in this case we're using a PIR board. Now this is from Ecotherm and it's a tongued and grooved board. It's what they call a full fill board. So if you look here in the cavity we've got a 100 mil cavity and we've got a 90 millimeter insulation board that goes in so that leaves 10 millimeters nominally down the front now the idea of this is that a lot of the time when people put this insulation in they have a partial fill on the cavity so they have a hundred mil cavity and they put 50 millimeters of insulation in now you might think that's a bit of a waste but the idea is that the cavity is there to stop any transfer of damp from the outside to the inside so if you have a partial fill if any wind blown rain gets through this block work or brickwork into the cavity it runs down the inside of the outside skin so that means it just drains away at the bottom and it's gone so if you do this if you put a full fill insulation in what you can then end up with is a situation where the water can track across between the boards and to stop that they use this tongue and groove system so the tongues always go upwards and the reason the tongues go upwards is because the groove is going to sit on top of it and if any rain tries to get through there it's got to go in, up, over, down and across and obviously it's not going to do that, it's not that keen so if you did it the other way round you would have a situation where you had the groove upwards and the water would be tracking in and sitting in the groove and would eventually show up on the inside. So with this system, you can full fill the cavity, but it has to be this tongue and groove system, this one from Ecotherm. It means that that water will just trickle down there and away, safely away, and you won't get any transfer from the outside to the inside with the damp. Very, very important. But as I say, there's lots and lots of ways of doing this. Now, this is a bit demanding. Mark Labricky was cursing it a little bit because it means that you've got to maintain that 10 mil gap all the way along there to get it in and you're pushing and you're pulling. The reward is that you get a much higher level of insulation. Now, we've exceeded the requirements, considerably exceeded them on this. And so that extra insulation has led to a, a better U value for the building which means that we can increase the glazed area so they want bifold doors here they want big picture windows looking out and in order to do that under the SAPS system we have to get that we have to find those energy savings from somewhere else so that's how we've done it we've increased the insulation in the walls we're going to increase the insulation in the floors and also in the roof so this house will end up costing less to heat with the extension than it did before when it didn't have the extension. So it's a win-win. By the time we put that underfloor heating in there, that runs at a very low temperature. The whole place will be toasty warm. I'm Roger Bisby. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come back and see us again at Skill Builder. We've got lots more coming up in the near future. And if you're not a subscriber, become a subscriber. It's free and we keep you up to date with everything that's going on on Skill Builder.